So you're ready to take the exam. Now what? Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMagicKid.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So you've been studying for your CompTIA exam and now you're ready to take the actual exam. So what do you actually need to do? What's the next steps? To be honest, you should already know this stuff before you even started studying anyway, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna go through a few things that you have to do, that you need to do, just to make sure that on test day, everything goes smooth. First thing that you need to do is to create two accounts. You need to create a CompTIA account so you can actually see what certification that you have, see what certifications that you've taken, so on and so forth, and also create a Pearson View account. With that account, you'll actually be able to see what exams are available, see what testing sites are available, and actually get your exam scheduled. So first thing is make those accounts. The second thing that you need to do is actually get an exam voucher. So no matter what CompT exam you're taking, each one of those exams needs a voucher. A voucher is just you actually paying for the exam. So that's another thing. If you've been studying, 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 and you don't even know how much these exams cost, that's probably the first thing that you need to do. Go see if you actually have the money to actually take the exam. So when you actually go to the testing center, if you take it at home, however you do it, you actually be able to take the exam. So you got the accounts, then you have to actually buy the voucher for the exam. Now, most of these vouchers are good for one year. Even though it's good for one year, I wouldn't recommend buying your voucher until you're ready, right? So when you buy your voucher, it should be a day or two max for you to take the actual exam. And the only reason you should be waiting is if wherever you want to take it at, if they don't have slots, then you couldn't take it. But if it was me, what I tell my guys and my girls is when you buy the voucher, go take the damn exam, you study, let's go see if you can do what you need to do to get certified. Now, the next thing you need to do is schedule the exam. Make sure that you are available for the time and the date. They're gonna have weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months in advance for you to be able to schedule the exam. Just make sure that when you're filling out the information to take the exam, whatever is on your ID, if you're using a state ID or if you're using a driver's license, whatever is on that form identification that you're gonna be using, make sure that's exactly what you put inside of the account. Because if that doesn't match up, when you actually go to take your exam, they're gonna reject you. So we don't want you to study, 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 and then when it's actually time to do what you need to do, you're not able to do so. So just make sure that whatever is on your ID, that's what you actually put inside the account. Now, the next thing I would advise you to do is look at their testing policies. So a few things that you may not know, a lot of times is you cannot have any notes, no notes at all. No matter if it's just a word, a paragraph, or a whole damn essay, you can't take any notes inside of the testing center. Even if you're testing at home, you can't use any notes. So you wanna make sure that you're looking through those testing policies and requirements just to make sure that you don't have any surprises. For example, a lot of times the actual exam will be proctored or not a lot of times, all of the times it's gonna be proctored. So if you go to a testing site, somebody's gonna proctor it, somebody's gonna be watching it. If you take it at home, somebody's gonna be watching you on your camera and they're also gonna be watching your screen. So this is to prevent anybody from copying questions, anybody from cheating, so on and so forth. So those are just some of the, the small things. There's literally pages and pages of do's and don'ts, and I would suggest that you read through all of those things before you take your exam. Last but not least, I would say you need to request any accommodation that you may need, right? For example, if you have any disabilities, whether if it's hearing, seeing, any of these types of things, any kind of disabilities, anything that may hinder your testing, progress or just hinder your testing experience, you can actually reach out to CompTIA and see if they can accommodate you 
for your disabilities or whatever issues you may have that will hinder you. If you need to take the exam in a different language, so on and so forth, you can always reach out to them and they will try to accommodate you to the best of their ability. Now, this is what you need if you're ready to take the exam. For everybody that's not ready to take the exam, for everybody that doesn't know where to start, for everybody that doesn't know what to study, who to listen to, so on and so forth, I would suggest that you try to enroll into the Zero to IT Hero program. All the information for that program is in the link in the description. You can apply and I hope to see you in class. Now, just make sure that if you're taking it at home, it's the same experience as if you're taking it in the testing center. Meaning, you're gonna be watched, they're gonna be looking at you, and you're gonna need your photo ID. So if you go to the testing center or if you go and do it at the house, make sure that you have some type of identification and make sure that it matches exactly what you put inside of the account. Another thing is, testing from home, right? More convenient, you can do whatever you want to, so on and so forth. But understand that there's a few things that you have to do. One thing, like I said, is that you have to have ID and also they're gonna want to see your testing room, wherever you're at, right? So be prepared to do a full 360 with your camera, with your laptop, whatever you're using so the proctor can actually see you and see your room. Just to make sure it ain't somebody in the corner whispering answers to you, right? So just be prepared for that. Another thing is, whether you're going to the testing site or doing it online, I would recommend to try to set everything up maybe 15 minutes to even 30 minutes before because you gotta understand, you're about to take an exam, these certifications can change your life, so you're gonna be nervous, you're gonna be anxious, just make sure that you set yourself up for success by going a little early, especially if you gotta go to the testing center, look up the directions, possibly if it's not too far drive the route just to make sure okay this is when it's busy this is a, a, a faster route so on and so forth see what parking is like blah 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 use the bathroom this type of stuff right but anyway those were just my suggestions on what you need to do when you're ready to take the exam other than that i'll see you in class